Hi, I'm Jeff Knoss, Worldwide Marketing Manager for the iGen family of products. And we're at the Gill Hatch today with our technical specialist on the iGen family, Scott Stevenson. And what Scott's going to do is he's going to give us an underneath the hood look of how we automate image quality. Now Scott, in an earlier segment, we talked about automating color accuracy through our color management system. There's got to be other things about getting a good sellable sheet out. How are, what are they and how do we address them? Yeah, let's go right into it, Jeff. Here's a, here's a full width array located in the, in the, in the cavity that's going to address streaking. Okay. And, and what it's going to do is it's going to read the photoreceptor belt for any density variation that could affect your print and automatically adjust it. So, that, Scott, that's got to be, so we're going down, right? Because you're going to print a sheet out, you're going to see a streak, and now you're going to engage this system to address and compensate for the streak? Jeff, you missed the key word. It was automatic, and it's being automatically adjusted while you run subjectivity the operator to be able to detect and understand what a streak is or an imperfection in the print? No. It's being all conducted inside the photoreceptor belt while you run. Every single print, every single sheet, we're monitoring for it and correcting it. That's right. And it's being done, Jeff, through this full width array, which is addressing it at a very fine level, every millimeter across the, 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 the sheet. And it's also very sensitive. So you're not going to see a streak one moment and, and none that, you know, off and on, no, it's always good. What about quality of tints, quality of blue skies? How do we keep those at the highest level without doing a lot of intervention? Yeah, street correction certainly helps that, Jeff. Mm -hmm. No one wants a streak in your blue sky, but the accuracy of the color with our color management has a dependency on the developer housing up here, the inks, Jeff. And, it, and to be able to, to maintain color richness in the inks, that's important. Just like an offset press, new inks, yeah? This has to be refreshed while you... Oh, is, Scott, is, come on. So, again, I guess you told me some good news on the auto density control system that it's real time, but you talked about changing materials, yep. right? We need to have our customers up and printing all the time. Are we not having to change the materials when we start seeing that image quality breakdown in the sheet? No, again, just like the street correction, when the materials start to fail, or they, uh, they need to be refreshed, if you will, they're being replenished while you run. So that the, the operator doesn't have to steer over a sheet on a big Pantone color or a multi-op, you know, to understand that the color's vary, varying from inboard, outboard. That's all being managed in its, it, it, up here in the developer housing, so and again. again you're not going down and doing it, it's taking care of it at every single sheet. Yep. That's awesome, yep. Scott. Well, thank you for uh, taking the moment to go a little deeper into our image quality automation. In other sections, other segments, we talked about automating color management. We talked about how we effectively and robustly and predictably handle our paper through our paper path. And today, we went over the automation of image quality and how we ensure a good quality sheet, every sheet, every shift, every month, every year. What does this all mean? What does it mean is you're able to get more sellable prints out of every eight hour shift because you're spending more time printing and less time actually trying to get a good print or feeding the different sheets. And this is all about uptime and making you more profitable by getting more sellable output every shift. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks, Scott. You're welcome.